Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sebi. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering, analytics, and visualization with Alteryx and Spotfire. You can find my site at the URL shown on the screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Alteryx user constants to speed up development and troubleshooting in your workflows. I learned how to use user constants from the Alteryx Virtual Solution Center, which is where you can go to get one-on-one -on -one help with your workflows. I found it very helpful, so check it out if you get stuck on a workflow. So first things first, what is a user constant? Constants are global variables for a workflow that are defined on the workflow tab in the workflow configuration window. Global meaning that you can use it anywhere in the workflow. Constants make it possible to change a value in a single location and have that change applied to the rest of the workflow. So let's go to the workflow configuration window and we'll get there by clicking on the white space in my workflow and going to the workflow tab. Now, if I click the plus sign, you'll see that the only type of constant that is added is a user constant. You don't get asked for different types of constants. These are the only kind that you can add. And in this workflow, which I'll use for demonstration, I've created two user constants called filter status and well name. What I want to do is set up user constants so that if desired, I can push only one well's worth of data through my workflow. And if you're working in a different industry, not oil and gas, maybe you want to push one widget's worth of data through workflow. Hopefully the idea translates. Now, without a user constant, the only way to do that is to add and subsequently remove filter tools. And if you're running small workflows, that might not seem so bad. But take a look at this giant workflow that I've been working on for quite some time now. It is monstrous. And if I wanted to push one well's worth of data through this workflow, I'd have to put filter tools all over the place and then take them off and it would just be super inefficient. And so that's where user constants come into play. Now your user constants do still work with filter tools. As you can see, I have a filter tool set up with two pieces of logic. If my filter status is off, nothing really happens and all my data flows through the tools. If the filter status is set to on, the logic also requires that the well name and the constant equal the well name in my column of data, and only the matching data will flow through. So to demonstrate this, I will go to my filter status and I'll change it to off and I will run my workflow. And now we'll take a look at my summary tool and you can see that I have several wells worth of data flowing through this workflow. And now if I go back and change this to on, what will happen is that it's going to push only this wells data through the workflow. And now I have just this one. So you can use user constants and your filter tools to push a limited set of data through your workflow without taking filters on and off. This is one of the most useful tricks I've ever learned about Alteryx and I apply it in all of my workflows. It's also useful in a few other places, like with email tools. So let me go to another workflow that I built. And this workflow is basically creating an email with a PDF attachment and then sending it out. And you can see that I have a filter tool that is looking at a constant called user status. You'll see that it, it, this currently it has a status of ready. And so if the status is set to ready, it'll send the email. And if it's anything other than ready, it won't send the email. So I'm going to set this to not ready and run my workflow. And you can look through the results window and it says nothing about the email. And that basically means that the email wasn't sent. And if this isn't convincing, let me go ahead and change it to ready. And I'll run the workflow again. And now you can see that with the email tool, one message was sent as intended. And so while I'm developing this workflow, I can just set the status to not ready, but still have all my tools intact. And then when it's production ready, I change the user constant and it's ready to roll. Now, before I wrap this up, I just want to note that I did run into a few difficulties using user constants. I attempted to use them before an output tool that writes to SQL, and I expected that since nothing would flow through the filter, the write to output tool would not be engaged. 
Now that was incorrect. Instead, Alteryx wrote a table with zero records to SQL, which was not exactly what I wanted. So trust but verify. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to do more and more with it and make it a useful resource for you guys. Thanks.